have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, is Ripper here, but you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video to talk about, great discussion. This is the Petra range mod or legendary upgrade. Uh, which one should I pick? Which one's better? Or what do you think? Um, and my thoughts before we get a like, subscribe button below. Next uh, 4,000 subs, we'll do another premium giveaway. So let's get to it. Um, this discussion came up during uh, clan battles and someone had asked which is better. Is range mod on the Petro better than the legendary upgrade? Here's a chart that was also on Reddit. Go look it up yourself. I mean, it's a lot of number guru stuff I'm not really too familiar with, but it basically boils down to something about the Petra's uh, model or calculations is around 12 kilometers around that area, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, this is just hearsay. I've been looking everywhere. It's somewhere around 12 to 14 kilometers is where it drops off. And the dispersion, lateral dispersion and the vertical dispersion just, just starts increasing, goes off the charts. And that means the further you get, obviously, the, the harder it is for you to hit something or the shells start dispersing even further away. Someone in the discussion was that if you take range mod on Petro, that, that pushes that that um, that drop off a little bit further out, maybe about two more kilometers out. And and there's that discussion of, well, why is that better? And maybe it's because you get to keep your uh, modules. If you don't know what the legendary upgrade on Petro is, the legendary upgrade on Petro takes away one consumable, so one less radar, one less heal, and one less hydro or whatever you want to put in the consumables and it increases your... Uh, dispersion. I'm sorry. It decreases your dispersion. So better accurate guns. Just just sum it up right there. Now, if you take range mod, you don't lose any of the consumables. But there, the, the argument is to say that hey, that dispersion is pushed out a little, a little bit further. So you're getting a little bit more accurate guns at you know a little bit more extra distance in the range mod. You don't have to sacrifice for anything other than reload. And both obviously, if you take the range mod or the legendary upgrade for Petro, you're losing that two second uh, reduction in your gun reload. So yeah, if you can see my my um, screen right now, my reload's around 13 to 14 seconds right now with these mods um, uh, uh, selected. So right now, the video you're seeing in the background I currently is just range mod. And you, you be the judge of it. I'm not going to be say I'm an expert on this. I'm just talking about and bringing up discussion about it. And I wanted to try it out. So... On these first few videos here, you're going to see range mod uh, selected for Petro. And, and I'm going to have to be honest, I don't see many Petros being played as much anymore. Uh, I feel that the Petro is already, uh, has been nerfed enough. I mean, look, my detection's already at the 13.2. Back in the day, it was like you had stealth radar kind of thing where you were at 12.2, 12.8, somewhere around that range. But now, even with all the concealment upgrades, you're only getting about 13.2. So... You're going to get spotted no matter what, and you can't just pop that radar and reveal the enemy right off the bat immediately. And the radar is obviously shorter. I put the, the upgrade for the radar. It's about, 14, I think I can get it to 19 seconds now. Um, that gives me about two shots worth of um, for a, a destroyer hunting for the Petro, but... I digress. This is about the, the accuracy. And just look in the background video, and this is just range mod here. Look at that dispersion there. Um, can you really tell? Now, you be the judge. You, you can see it later on uh, when I play the Petro with the upgraded Legendary mod. I notice that the shells are a little bit more concentrated on the Legendary. With range mod, yeah, you get to push out that range a little bit further out. I believe it is 21. Yep, 21.4 instead of the normal, what, 18 and a half, something around there. So you're getting an extra few kilometers a shot, um, but are you taking that long distance of a shot in a Petro? Uh, I don't know. You're we're, The further out you go, you get less cons less consistent guns. And, I mean, just be, you be the judge. Take, just look at the video. This is what I experience. Everybody has different experiences, but this is in the current meta and the current configuration of today. Uh, this is Petro. Again, I, my thoughts on it, I think Petro is just less tankier as it used to be, in my personal opinion. It feels different from when I played it a few years ago. Now, granted, the accuracy is better at the Legendary Upgrade, but right now, just to do anything, you got to really push up closer. That's what I remember brawling Petro was, but now in the days of the meta of spamming and sap and uh, torpedoes and submarines, and, and there's a shot right there. You can see that it was range on a Hanover. Eh. I mean, that was full range right there. But again, I digress. I was going back to the topic of it, it, and to get these things really to work all for you, Petro. I feel like you need to be a little bit closer. Uh, and then obviously, because the meta of today doesn't allow you to do that, it feels like I'm not as tanky as much. So I'm basically resorting back to sitting in the back. Like, look, look at my battleships. That's where they're at. 
that is what I have to do to survive in a Petra, it feels like today. I mean, I have to sit in the back with all my battleships and just sit here and tank. And I think that's kind of boring, honestly. I, I like to push up. That's why I like the destroyer gameplay role. Again, I'm not the best at cruiser player. I actually am one of the worst. I'm just trying this out for a discussion. But, ooh, look at that set all right there. Now, that was just range mod right there. He is, what, about 11.5-ish, 11.6-ish, where that shot was. So... Again, to be, uh, I would say to get in this, that, that accuracy right there is to get in close, but I feel like you can't do it these days in, with Petro and the today's meta. And again, I'm just sitting here, and most people play it where you sit and you camp and you kind of pick an island and hold it, and you're just kind of holding your ground right here. And let me see if this shot works out. Well, another Citadel right there at about 11.3. So you can see the dispersion's a little bit better with 12 within. Um, if I had pushed it out a little bit more, maybe to 14, I think that's where the new drop off is with the range mod. Again, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I just feel like it's a little bit, obviously, closer in better accuracy further out and it's the same thing in my personal opinion i just don't see any difference really uh, it's it's you just got to get in close with the petro it feels like even with range mod does it really is that two kilometers extra of the drop off of dispersion and vertical dispersion horizontal dispersion do, do i feel that it is a beneficial thing i i really don't know i don't see it you be the judge uh, I'm just showing you what I experienced, and uh, honestly, I don't feel fun on it anymore. The Petro feels like it's, that's why I probably don't see as many anymore. It, uh, they nerfed it really good. I mean, just like the whole Soviet cruisers, everybody was complaining about them. They nerfed them pretty good. Here's another range shot at uh, Zhao here about, uh, what's that, what am I even at, 16 kilometers there. Let's take a look at it. How did it go? Yeah, get an overpin and um, one pin. So, eh. At 16 kilometers, you can see that noticeable that dispersion was pretty pretty significant, pretty wonky there. And let's take another shot at the sleeve in with these. Uh, see, again, these deep water torpedoes are coming in on me, so it's really hard to push in these days in today's meta. So, again, you're resorting back to camping by an island, grabbing cover, and sitting and camping. And there's a citadel right there at, what was that? Thir he's about 13. Yeah, 13 and a half away. Let's take another shot at 13 and a half, see how that dispersion is. <laughs> another citadel so pretty good so right around that 13 and a half 14 kilometers you're still getting that decent dispersion on a battleship so again you be the judge was that is that worth it in your personal opinion is, is that something that's good is that bad i mean again i have to sit back at these more standoffish ranges again it's something i do not like doing but again that's the way the met not, not just because i don't like it doesn't mean i have to do it or just because i'm sorry let me rephrase just because i don't like the way the game is today it doesn't mean that i have to force myself into those situations again this is what i'm 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 being literally forced to do in order to survive these engagements. So I may not like it, but this is just the way you have to play it these days. Uh, Zhao angling away, so a little bit terrible dispersion there. You get one pen, a ricochet. So not the greatest at shooting a Zhao at 14. Okay, this is at 13 and a half. Let's see what kind of dispersion we get. Okay, that's kind of a nice horizontal dispersion there. And we'll probably get this kill. Yeah, in the superstructure. Again, resorting to shooting at the superstructure. Ooh, nice, Janan. Now, this is everyone, anybody, any cruiser player's wet dream here. Light cruiser broadside, and my guns are swinging low, and he's turning away. Let me see if I, do I get a nice Citadel shot here on this nice hull? Very light cruiser. Ooh, we get a nice 6,000. Oh, dang. Got blown away by the Vermont. He was probably salivating as well. So, yeah, that's range mod. So, in a minute, I'm going to show you a video with the Petro's, um uh the uh, legendary upgrade but here's a long range shot right here from downtown 19.2 so okay this is me maximizing the whole ability of the range and yeah we get 4,000 uh, hp there good we get a decent pen i guess i mean this is something i would think that petro would really excel at at these ranges but i guess it's not i think sigma really plays into a fact i mean you just got to have stalingrad uh, kind of laser rifles here so uh, again, look at that dispersion. It's decent. The horizontal's okay. Vertical starts breaking up right there at the end there. So maybe not. Again, that, that is exactly why the Petra is not very good at range. Even with range mod, it, all this really is doing is just bumping out that 12 to 14 kilometer range of dispersion out a little further in the medium range. So not really the long range. So you're really not taking shots at long range. Yeah, there you go. A little bit decent dispersion. I'd say this is about the, the sweet spot of what a Petro is, about 11 and a half. So, again, this is just range mod right here. Look at that. Nice little horizontal, little drop off still there. Still get a Citadel. So, again, I think the bread and butter is around this mid range level. And we're about to get torped uh, just unsuspectingly by a destroyer that's hanging out in the background there, way in the back. But we pre pretty much got this game in the bag. I was just pushing up to have fun. That's all point of the game, right? Have fun.
Yep, so we eliminate there. Now, here we go. This is legendary upgrade, okay? So keep in mind, legendary upgrades. Here's the shots. Let's take a look at the dispersion. 10,000 right there. Let's see. We are about nine kilometers. So this is really, really where you want to be. Usually in the Petro ranges is really, really close in. Now, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That is a tighter dispersion, tighter group. And you're uh, obviously, I'm not aiming very well to Vermont. I'm, I was thinking I could pen his Citadel right there, but again, apparently not. So again, I'm learning as well. Uh, I need more practice on this. I'm not, I don't play cruisers that often, so I'm learning around everything right there. Get some pens, a couple ricochets, not the greatest angles. Maybe I need to shoot a little bit higher on the upper belt there and may, maybe shoot right in the superstructure. So again, I don't like these reloads. Uh, the 14, 14 second reload, eh. I like the, I like a little bit faster reload, in my personal opinion. A 10, 10 second reload is better uh, with the adrenaline rush and the, the uh, reload upgrade. So let's take a look. Shot right there. Better dispersion. Nice grouping. Let's get the back turret in. Back turret. Best turret. Oh, yeah. Back turret. Best turret. Gets that kill. So, okay. Let's take a look at a little bit longer range shot here. This is about 15.3, 15.5. Okay. Taking that long range shot. Let's take a look at the grouping. Much better grouping, I've noticed. A little bit tighter. And, ooh, we get a Citadel at those ranges. So I don't think I would have gotten that maybe in the other upgrade. So, uh... Again, I like the, this legendary upgrade as a little bit more, like I said, consistent. One less consumables uh, in your rack and inventory. But for these kind of dispersions, I would probably like this a little bit better. I just like consistency because I thought that's what Petro was. Was back in the day, the guns were so laser accurate. That's what it was renowned for. And I was just getting so many Citadel hits, even on battleships. And I'm feeling it, it just feels a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more consistent. So, again, up to you guys. What do you think is good? Now, this is me rushing in Austin here where nobody's else is helping. Look at the, my battleships are all in the back. You know what? I'm having fun. Let's just push up and try to just stir up a ruckus and get things going. I did not know about this Austin. Uh, I was perplexed at uh, where to aim at this guy because I, I had never been in this situation before. So, here's a good learning experience. Either one, I got to shoot on the stern and uh, pen, pen the stern uh, area of the armor right there and stop shooting at these ricochet areas or a little bit higher in the upper belt into the superstructure. I thought if I shot in the superstructure, it'd overpin more, but I'm noticing I'm getting a nice couple pins. So I'm avoiding these torpedoes and trying not to ram like a, a noob would. So I'm just trying to understand where are these guns? I'm just trying to practice around playing around with this. So I just barely missed his stern right there. It was good maneuvering right there, standing stop and then let him move in front of me, see where he goes. Shooting right into the superstructure there. Again, I get an overpin, but a little bit more pins in that regard. I thought I would have just detonate this guy, but unfortunately I didn't. And let's see. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit more. Yep, superstructure. Back turret, best turret, and boom, splash, and one. And he gets it right there. Seven pins, and uh, unfortunately we die right there after that. Okay, now here's a little bit more better dispersion on the destroyer player. So this is about... 10 kilometers ish 10 and a half you can see that grouping is really really good at shooting destroyers i really enjoy that i mean there's nothing better than seeing a destroyer full broadside and just taking these shots okay here's another shot right look at that very nice grouping right there so yeah i, I wouldn't have gotten that in the range mod but i just it's just a little bit more tighter with tw like four, 12 and less in you can just feel it it's just way more consistent way more tighter way better sniper feel so yeah, I like it a lot better in, in maybe that role right there, that medium range destroyer in within your radar, a lot better. Okay, this is about 13 kilometers out, so right around that drop off point, but here we go. Nice grouping right there, right into the Citadel. Very good shot right there. So it feels a lot better at that range. So let's see if we can get a Austin right here. So he's about 10, again, right before that drop off. Very nice dispersion grouping. You know, if only I had better aiming, I would know where to hit this guy. And uh, right there, the uh, probably the superstructure that we had earlier. And he's probably going to get detonator here. Now, I didn't lead this guy enough. I did not realize he was full speed right there. Oh, man. Uh, very accurate. They were going to they went where I told it to go. So not very good aiming on my part. And he gets detonated right there. All right. So honestly, what do I think? Honestly? The way the meta is, I prefer, as you're going to see in the background here, I would rather just play a, a Moskva because this Moskva has the legendary upgrade in it, kind of like a similar style, less dis better dispersion, a little bit more accurate guns. And uh, let's see how this goes. Look at that. Not the greatest con uh, concentration, but still enough to get on target for, for what you do. A better reload. You can see nine and a half second reload. I'm not sacrificing consumables. Like the the Petro and the le and the um, the legendary upgrade there, and let's see how the this grouping is. So this is legendary Moscow now. Just keeping reminding you guys, nice look, very good that like, grouping. And look at that, wow, that is great grouping, kind of similar to that Petro feel. 
and I don't know, it's just faster real. It just feels a way more comfortable. So yeah, the why, why? Ooh, look at that! Nice shot on this, uh, the broadside Napoli. Now, why do I why I show this? Because honestly, I think the Moscow does a better job than Petra, in my personal opinion. And Moscow was the old school, oldie but goldie, broken ship for the Soviet biased. And I just feel with the legendary upgrade on this ship, it feels a way more, way better, and I can go in and tank more. In my personal opinion, that's just me. I felt like that. Um, again, for the the Petro to get where you need to be to be more accurate, you have to really get in there and push up and find cover and grab cover. Now it's a boring gameplay. Now you're just sitting there camping behind islands. But then if you get outside of that, now you're getting farmed and crazy and you're burning down and, and it just doesn't feel like as tanky as it used to be or it, the guns aren't being utilized in what I feel was what it used to be back in the day where it was just super broken. Now this is me. Uh, 14 kilometers out. Look at that nice grouping. So very, very accurate guns. And where they're being placed exactly where I need them to be. So getting uh, nice dispersions there. Over pins, pins. Okay, I can understand that. Now here we go. Nose in on a battleship. Okay, this is something what I thought Petro can do back in the day really, really well. Um, it feels uh, that you can try to do it, but again with the meta today, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it as good as I used to. Let's take another shot right here. Again, medium range, uh, this is Moscow and Petro excel at, that they're supposed to. Okay, I'm nosed in right here, getting a little bit better angling. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't see that Venezia on my left. So I'm gonna, again, back up in cover here, exactly the kind of this play style of the Soviet cruiser line. I'm gonna go full reverse, and let me go ahead and pick on this Iowa. I'm just trying to see, hey, what can this thing do? Uh, could Petro do this? And look at that, that very, very nice dispersion. And we get about 5K off right there. Again, angling in like we all normally should be doing in a cruiser bow in. Taking another shot. Again, I like this reload right here, about nine seconds down. We're firing some HE shells to get that fire going. And you can switch back and forth with Kutsnav. You can switch and get that half the reduction of shell type switching down if you have it preloaded. So I had it preloaded there, switching shells. I got a quick uh, fire on him. Now I'm going to see if I can get the AP back working. We had a nice little smoke screen right here. Friendly player. Very good. I applaud him on doing that. Doing what a destroyer player should be doing. Look, again, very tight grouping. Very nice. Similar to the styles of the legendary Petro right there. Very good. I like what, this, what kind of that, that accuracy. Very consistent guns in the Moscow. So... Um, again, why am I showing this again? I, I honestly think the Moscow does a better job right now. I mean, with the Petro again, the range mod, do I really get much out of that from that two second, that two kilometers in from 14 to 12? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe in competitive, I don't really play cruisers much in competitive. What do you guys think? Are you guys have been playing competitive? What have you been seeing? Are people playing with range mod more? Or are they still choosing legendary upgrade Petro better? Because like, there's another Citadel on the Venezia on the Petro right there. I mean, very, very fast firing accurate guns is what I'm looking for. And I think Moscow does a lot better. Uh, Petro, if you do do that, do you get the same thing? Yeah, but then you're sacrificing, of course, those heals and so forth, and also the reload. And like I said, I need the fast firing guns if I'm going to get more more consistent shots because I need to try and make mistakes over and over and over again a lot more than I normally would. And Petro just feels like it's kind of like that Des Moines feel where you're getting fast firing guns, super accurate, definitely what you need. And then of course it can go in there with a longer radar. Petro's radar only lasts about 19. I'm getting about. What, 30 seconds worth? Uh, maybe longer. Nice. Look at that Citadel again on the Venezia. I'm just aiming right above the, the hull in the front there. He's angled in and firing another AP bra uh, shot right there and getting all another consistent hits right there. It just feels a lot more uh, consistent with that raw damage I'm getting. And then I'm firing again right into the, hopefully hits the superstructure area and get that 15. He's angled away, so I know I'm not going to get as many uh, pens. He gets blasted right there. Again, tankier feel on the M Moscow, it feels like. So let's see here. We got a bunch of uh, people just sitting in smoke. So I'm going to pop the radar here. You can see that radar lasts way much longer. Now everybody freaks out when radar. And so they're going to start coming out of cover. And here we go. We got nice HE shells loaded. Very quick reload. See, now Petra would have had to wait a few more seconds longer here. But I'm noticing I'm getting a lot more shots in. I'm going to squeeze my nose in front and see if I can hopefully get this guy around this Humphreys here and I'm just aiming slightly above the where his waterline just following his mode of travel there the green circle above means he's got full speed forward so again I'm going to lead him a little forward let the shells walk he's going to walk right into my shells and get that nice last hit and then we got this Shimakaze coming right in front keeping my eye on him hopefully I get this last shot in oh ooh, I hit the I am bad on me I hit the, the island but here we go this is where a fast frying gun comes into play I needed this last shot before he shoots his uh, torpedoes off and boom, he takes. I take him out, but no, oh my God, I got a lot of 
Torpedo's coming away. Okay, one last shot before I die here. Come on, right there. Somewhere around there. I did take a quick shot, and hopefully that nails him. Boom. Last quick <laughs> lucky shot. And hopefully I don't die by this last torpedo. Ay, and then Kuznov saved my ass right there. And uh, I just got saved by Kuznov. And again, that normally wouldn't happen in competitive whatever. I just got saved by a gimmick of, um, you know, the commander skill right there. But playing Ring Around Rosie with the Wisconsin. So we're, uh, this is how I'll end the video. But what are your thoughts? What do you think? Do you think the range mod is better? Or do you think Legendary Upgrade Petro is better? Uh, at the end of the day, me personally, I could care less. I think the, the uh, consistency, if I, that's what I'm looking for, I like Legendary more. And uh, I really didn't see much of a difference, really. I like Moskva's playstyle better. I was just trying it out. This is my kind of my take on it. I like the Legendary Upgrade Moskva. It just seems way much better. I can play it better, a little bit more comfortable than in the, the, the Moskva than the Petro. So, again, this is up for uh, discussion. Uh, I, I don't say one is right over the other. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, below. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for making the community better, being uh, friendly, building it better. Uh, friendships out there. If you see me out there, say hi. As always, I appreciate all you guys uh, liking my videos like what we're doing here having great discussions and and just overall having a good time and learning something from it so as always you guys stay safe and until next time we'll see you guys soon cheers